In this tutorial, we'll review logical conditions and conditional statements in Python. So go to the apmonitor.com CHE 263 uh, website. And uh, this is the course website, Introduction to Programming for Engineers. If you come to Python on the uh, right and then select Conditionals, it'll bring up the material for this lecture. So we have different operators that are used to test uh, whether numbers are less than, greater than, or equal to or not equal to um, each other. And then we also have um, logical conditions um, and or not and if statements to control the flow of the program. So we're going to review this with a simple number guessing game in Python. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and create a new um, script file. Um, and this one, I'll just call this my uh, guessing game dot py. Okay, I'll go ahead and change the extension there when it says ask me to ask me to do that. I'll, I'll edit with ideally um, editor. Okay, so um, what the first thing that I want to do is just first of all um, import uh, the random package um, and I'll just go ahead and import all of it just simplify uh, the syntax here. Um, and then what I want to do is, is go ahead and just create my answer. Okay, and I'll do that with the random integer value between 0 and 100. Okay, I also want to create um, just a Boolean um, to indicate when my answer is correct. So I'll first of all, I'll just say that uh, correct equals false, uh, meaning that I haven't found a solution yet. Now I'll go ahead and uh, create a while loop. Um, so while not uh, correct, then I'm going to continually ask uh, the user for input. So let's create a new guess. Um, I'll just create a new integer um, and um, I'll request an input from the user. Um, and the user, I'll say uh, guess a number. Okay. So that'll be the uh, prompt that we'll give to the user and they'll guess a number it'll be assigned to a uh, guess variable. Now we want to do um, the if statement. So if uh, guess uh, equals, so I have to use the double equal sign there, don't forget about that. Um, if guess equals answer, then I'll say that um, I'll print out uh, correct, okay? Um, and then I want to also change my variable to be equal to true. Okay, so that when it hits that while loop again, um, it's going to evaluate that it is correct and then it'll end the program or go on to the next uh, statement. Now, I want to do an else if now to be able to test to see if it's uh, too low in this case. Okay, so guess uh, less than answer then uh, I'll go ahead and print, I'll go ahead and print um, uh, to uh, low uh, guess again. Okay, and then uh, the final one is just going to be an else and um, I'll just go ahead and copy this uh, print statement right here and change that to too high. Okay, so we have too high, too low, and correct and um, that is the uh, end of our program, okay? So I'll go ahead and save it, and uh, let's go ahead and run it, and just test to see if it works. Okay, so guess a number. Um, I'll go ahead and start off with 50, too high, 25, uh, 12, too low. Okay, so um, you know I'll go with uh, 20, too low, uh, 23, too high. Okay, so I'm narrowing in. Okay, so it's correct and it terminated uh, the program. Okay, so this was uh, just a brief program to demonstrate uh, some of the logical conditions and um, you know flow of uh, control of the flow throughout the program with if statements and using these logical conditions.